So you guys have your own vlog. Yeah. So uh, what are you going to call it? Were you sick? All right, so it is almost nap time, and Laura requested to wear these pajamas for nap time. She brought them to me and she said, Mom, they're so cozy. She likes them because they have little ears on the little feet. Are you ready for your nap? Oh, I close. You woke up? Uh-huh. No, you didn't. You didn't even take your nap yet. <coughs> hey, Caleb. Hmm. What are you up to? I'm building a bridge. You're building a bridge? What are you building it with? These. Those are called bobby pins. Bobby pins and rubber bands. Wow, where is your bridge going to go? All the way up to Whoa. And then when the ants come, they're going to be like, doo, 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 doo. You think ants are going to walk on your bridge? Yeah, they can because it's going to be big. Wow, do you think you're going to be able to walk on your bridge? No, it's way too bad. I'm way too big for what my feet are. Oh, your feet and are I'm too big? I'm way too strong and I'll break it. <laughs> That's probably true. So you found these things. How do you connect them? I do this. I put bobby pins in and then I put a rubber band on. Mm. And then I put bobby pins for a band. Well, that's a good plan. Good luck with that. All right, Lacey, what are we making? Um, we're making bridges. Let's get going. Just like it did in the Magic School Bus show. Did we watch a Magic School Bus episode about that? Uh huh. Randomly. Yeah. Was it random, or did Mom have that all planned? Lacey, that looks very nice. Thanks. I plan to make it. Beautiful and fancy. <laughs> All right, I decided to get down and play with the kids. I mean, learn with the kids. So here's my bridge so far. I'm gonna see if I can make it go further. That looks like a great bridge. You ready yeah. for your next challenge? Yeah. See if you can make a bridge that goes all the way from here to here. Okay, that'll be easy, I guess. But this is more hard than I expected it to be. Is it? Mm-hmm. not. This one's grody, and I hate the yellow. It's because it's it's lemon. Whoa, that's sturdy. Do you think you can build it taller? Mm -hmm. Like do another layer up? Yeah. Isaac, what did you build? A house. All right, let's put a book on it. Should we put a heavier book on it? Here comes the next test. Oh! Did it, girlfriend? Thanks. How's yours coming along? Good. I think Mr. Caleb ate most of his spice drops. He's been pretty busy. Did you eat most of yours? <laughs> Lisa, you built a giant one. It's uh oh, leaning. is it starting to bend? Mm -hmm. The yeah. leaning tower of Lisi. <laughs> yeah. Can I eat all of them? What? <laughs> Poor Isaac. His life is ending. <laughs> Tell the vlog your sorrows. What happened? I have to sweep up rice. You have to sweep the floor? Oh no! Are we so mean? No. No. Do you want to go sweep the floor? Um, no. No. How about you get started and I'll help you finish. Okay, that sounds good. Ready, set, go! That sounds better at least. Yep. <laughs> what are you up to? Reading. Reading. Mm -hmm. Squash, squish, crunch, splash. Yeah, you reading it? <laughs> yeah. So a package just arrived at our door and it is from? Amazon. Amazon. I was wondering if you guys shop with Amazon or online or in person. Like Jeremy and I have found that especially lately we've been shopping a lot more online. It's just so convenient. So that's the poll question for today. Up here, do you guys prefer to shop online or in stores in real life? Let us know. And I wonder what it is. I don't even remember. Like I know we've ordered a couple things recently, but I don't know what's in this exact box. I have to write you 
All right, do you guys want to see what's inside? Isaac's next piano book. This is a surprise that we bought for the kids for our trip that we're going on soon. We're gonna be flying in an airplane in like a couple weeks, and I thought that this would be a great thing for the plane, so. Done. We're having fun, and hi. So. What is this? This is our own vlog, and this is mom. She vlogs too. It's called so, Jay Has Vlog. So you guys have your own vlog? Yeah. So uh, what are you going to call it? I see bros. I see bros. Like, it would, and the logo would be like I and C. Oh. Oh, for I for Isaac and C for Caleb. Who's going to edit them? Me. There's not a way to edit them, I don't think. So this is a scare vlog. So you guys are going to do scary vlogs? I don't want to. Well, I'm excited to see what you guys create. So we just recently started the kids on a new math curriculum, kind of for the summertime. It's called Reflex Math, and it's supposed to really help them get the math facts down. Like, they understand addition and subtraction, and Isaac does multiplication and division as well, but this helps them, like, learn the facts so they just, like, quickly, like, reflex. Good job, Elise. <gasps> that was scary. Yeah. I hope I don't fall. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, Laura. Did you have a good nap? Mm-hmm. Uh-oh, can you go put your binkies in your bed? Who got you dressed so cute? Oh, so beautiful. Hey, in the corner, it's messy. Is it messy over here? Yeah. All right, dinner tonight is spinach, pesto, mushroom, lasagna. I'm going to go ahead and put that together right now. Do you want to vlog me, Lacey? Yep. Lacey, why don't you tell them where you're going today? Um, I'm going to my first, um, what is it called again? Well, we call it master, master class. Which is a really a recital practice. But it's an ice cream party. It's an ice cream party. Don't tell the little ones. So we're running late, as usual, leaving the house, and for some reason, it is so hard for kids to find shoes. One of our kids, as we're getting ready to leave, like could not find any shoes. I'm like, grab shoes. And they're like, I can't find any socks. I'm like, find flip flops. They're like, it's raining out. I'm like, find any two items to put on your feet. I don't care if they match. I don't care about it all. Like we just have to go. How did you like your first day working in your home office? It's a wonderful space. Yeah? <laughs> the funniest, most random thing I didn't expect about it is that if I pass gas in my office, I can't escape it. It's such a small <laughs> space. I didn't anticipate that. So the only concern about the space size is <laughs> the airflow problems? Airflow. We need to get a ventilation system or a spray spray. <laughs> <laughs> it really shouldn't make me so happy, but to gas up for 62 cents with my little IV gas card makes me happy. We're continuing our search for the dressers for the kids. Lord, you see it sparkles. Are we going to sleep in here? We're not going to sleep in here. This is mine. Come, Laura. This way. <laughs> Poor Laura got the boring ride. We were just going into Walmart. We're not actually shopping for a dress. We're shopping for things for Daddy's office. So the kids weren't cooperating. Kendra had to take them out of the store to the car. Shopping with a two-year-old and a four-year-old is not a super easy thing. There's the spinach pesto mushroom lasagna. How's your food? Good. Laura, what do you think? What? Are you eating it? So Laura was just getting ready to go to bed and she just threw up all over the ground. I won't get too close because it's, it's gross. Did you throw up? Were you sick? 
So cleaning up, throw up, and pee and poo in carpet is one of those things that you just do a lot when you have four little kids. So whenever one of your kids gets sick, it raises all kinds of questions and issues. Is it contagious? Is, does this mean all of our kids are gonna get sick? Was it food poisoning? What did she eat that the other kids did or didn't eat? Is it just a fluke? Like Who there's- Who have we been around? Who else yeah. have we know Who... that's been sick? Yeah, so there's so many, but she seems to be acting so normal now. Laura. Night, Mom. Night, Mom. She's going to bed. <laughs> Laura, where are you going? I'm going to my bed. Hey, if her being sick means she puts herself to bed every night, well, I don't know. Cleaning up the carpet, not pleasant. Good night, sweetheart. Good night, Mom. I'll see you in the morning. Well, we just started throw up round two for Miss Laura. J House out. Good job, Caleb. Well, Jeremy got his office all set up. I'm excited to show it to you guys. Let's go.